Hello, uh, I was thinking about historic hymns and uh, probably one of the most sung hymns uh, that's of a historic nature is the Old Rugged Cross written by George Bernard. Uh, he was a uh, Methodist minister. Prior to that, he got saved in the Salvation Army and then moved over to the Methodist Episcopal Church in the early 20th century. Uh, and he wrote this song uh, in late 1912 to 1913. Um, and, uh, and according to his words, uh, he had written the tune and the words were imperfect and he got the right words uh, in response to a personal uh, trial. And uh, what that trial was actually was he was in an evangelistic meeting speaking and was uh, ridiculed for the gospel. And in response to that ridicule, uh, he went home and, and wrote this song. And so when we think about the old rugged cross, we know that um, we don't worship the cross. It's a symbol. It's a symbol of sacrifice. It's a symbol of the sacrifice of the Lord. And it's a symbol of our sacrifice for him. Because he said, if you would follow me, take up your cross and follow me. So uh, that's an interesting thing that Christians don't always think about. Uh, the uh, song is written in 6-8 timing, which is something people nowadays don't think a lot about. Um, usually they just feel a song and, and it ends up being whatever timing it's going to be. And it has an uneven meter, uh, which is interesting where the chorus and the ver verse are often different. Um, but it's been played a lot of different ways. And uh, I thought I would do that.
bless you. We'll see you next time.